go inside to the weather deck with meteorologist Lydia Knox. And that sunshine felt good today. Still a little chilly, but will we see maybe warmer temps later this week? Yes, we will actually. Temperatures are going to be a roller coaster ride throughout okay. the week, but it will start off a little chilly tonight. But then by the end of it, I think we're really going to like what we'll be mm, dealing with towards like the end of the week. Yes. Yes, feeling much more like spring, even though we may have to deal with a little bit of rain out there. Well, but that's what comes with spring. Tonight we'll be dealing with that sunshine for just a little bit longer before it sets, and then colder temperatures as we head on into this evening. Now with the snow that we saw Friday night into Saturday, your car may be needing a wash, and I would say Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Wednesday, it's going to be an okay day to do so. Actually, we'll be seeing a dry weather pattern for the next several days. It'll be a nice quiet break now that we'll be heading into our first full week of spring. Temperatures at this hour in those 40s, right around average for this time of year. You can see actually 50 degrees in Rochester and Sotus, 47 up in Fulton, 40 degrees in Watertown, a little bit chillier up there, 48 in Syracuse, and 47 degrees in Rome. Now, our wind chills over the next 24 hours, they will be a little bit cold for early tomorrow morning. So as those kids head out to the school bus, they'll probably want to grab that heavier jacket. You can see by 8 a.m. tomorrow, we're still going to feel like those mid-teens. But by the time we head on into the afternoon, we'll see more of that sunshine. So it at least will feel a little bit better. Throughout the rest of the Sunday evening, we'll be tracking the increasing cloud cover. And then we'll keep an eye on this cold front that's going to dip in from Canada. Now, I don't think it's going to pose too many threats to us, but there is a little bit of light snow that's going to be associated with this front. Most of the snow is going to start off in Jefferson and Lewis County. That's where they could see the most of the snow, but it's really not going to accumulate to much of anything. It moves southward of the city of Syracuse by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning and behind it really just going to give us clear skies. So throughout the majority of Monday, it's going to be quiet and dry and actually so we're going to see some more sunshine with that weak system tonight. Again, a few areas could pick up on a little bit of snow, but I really don't think it's going to amount to much of anything. Amounts will likely be a dusting for, I would say, the city of Syracuse and southward, but maybe up near Watertown, they could see possibly an inch of snow, really not shovel worthy as we head on into the overnight hours. Now tonight will be chilly, low 20s expected again. Look out for a little bit of scattered light snow, but going to be very minor in terms of accumulation. Tomorrow topping out in the mid 30s, still below average, but dry and mostly sunny. We'll stick with that sunshine for Tuesday, Wednesday, and the majority of Thursday. And look at the temperatures by the end of the week, upper 50s, well above average. We do have a chance for rain on Friday and Saturday. We can see those 60s maybe in store.